Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Azul. This one is a community created mod available in the Steam Workshop. Links available in the description below. This one titled simply Azul by creator Ramen Flame. So as always with the Tabletop Simulator series, we're not going to go through an in-depth how to play or explore the rules or strategies. We are just going to take a look at what, if anything, is scripted and done for you, and then what you, the players, are going to have to manage, maintain, and control on your own. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey everyone, welcome to Azul on Tabletop Simulator. So... For this particular uh, version of Azul, I'm going to go ahead and preface the, um, the video. This one is amazing. All right, guys. So as always, let's go ahead and take a, a look at, you know, everything that's done for you, which in this one, everything. And, and I, can't, I can't be happy enough about it. So as you, uh, as you load in, it, it's kind of at a strange angle, but as always, kind of take your seat, right? So let's take a quick look at what's on the table. You've got your instruction book up top so that you can easily reference um, whatever you need to do uh, during the game. Then up at the top of, this, of, this, of the mod, you've got the different tables so you can change the actual table background, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna use uh, inverted ceramic. Then you can change the actual tile set. So here's the, the five tile types. You can actually go through and change these to be you know, one of uh, you know, five various things, which again, I think is a really neat thing. Um, and then the board, you can either use the color side of the board, or you can use the kind of more strategic gray side of the board. There's also then some advanced um, items, random generated, etc. But for this one, we're just going to use the base color sided board. Then you want to toggle on any additional options for the game that you might want to do. They've even got a colorblind option, which is really neat to, uh, to definitely fix um, any of the um, you know, issues with that. So then they put numbers on the colors so that you kind of know what is what exactly. Score stays on, whatever. Anyway. Then one other piece of this particular mod that is really darn cool, you can add computer players. So you can even go and, and play it solo, but with even three other people at the table. And, you know, I got to say that the computer, the AI in this one, they're, they're definitely no pushover, you know? So that's really good that the, uh, the computer players are, you know, they, they make the right choices for themselves. They don't, they don't necessarily do a whole lot of like fucking over the next player, but uh, they do kind of insulate and do what's best for their own little board, which I think is you know still pretty cool. So anyway, getting off on a tangent there. Um, so when setting up the game, uh, all players just uh, take your seat around the table and then add any computer players that you may want. Now for purposes of this demo, I am actually going to go ahead and add a computer player just so that you can see um, even how quickly the computer uh, it takes their turn and they're not really intrusive into the flow of game. So once you've choosed the initial setup, go ahead and press start game. And it even has a little, little tip here, press start game after all players are seated. It's gonna then fill up the bag with the tiles and then deal out the player boards to uh, each of the people and then get and then uh, fill up the different factories. Then it's going to randomly choose a starting player. And that one actually just happened to have been me. Now, this is also where this particular mod really shines. So when you are set, picking from the factories or from the center of the table, you will be able to pick in one click all the tiles that are available there. So like, let's say I pick from this factory and then I can move it anywhere here and it'll even show you right so if i try to put it here then it discards the two into the you know dropped on the floor section exactly like that so very cool so i've taken my turn then the computer i don't know if you just noticed it they actually already took their turn so they grabbed three reds now my table mate they did their turn so very cool on this one guys uh you just click the tiles and then click an area of your board where you want those tiles to go. And that's it. 
everything uh, for that is done and handled for you flawlessly. So it's uh, it's my turn again. Um, man, I would really like a single black tile, but look, I'm gonna take a hit on scoring for this first round um, in hopes that I can uh, get uh, make up for it in subsequent rounds. So as we started going through this again, that's how really uh, easy this particular mod is. It's just easy to pick up and then start playing. Now, I wanted to go through an entire round um, first because I wanted to show you guys what's going to happen at the end of the round. So we're about to finish up this first turn. I'm going to grab this last tile and put it uh, right here where it belongs. Next, it's going to start handling all the moving of the tiles automatically and handle the scoring for you. Again, I, I just... I, <laughs> I can't, I can't say enough about how awesome that is. And now it's the next turn. Now, because I did take the, uh, the first center, it's my turn. Uh, I took the first player uh, tile, that one. So I'm going to go first, right? But again, uh, very, very cool setup because, uh, I mean, oh, it's just all done for you. It's so, it's so good. Um, so I, I could probably just go through the entire game and and show you guys but really you get the idea this one you set up the table you add some computer players if you want to and then you're ready to go now am i mad that it maybe dumbs it down a little too much no would i like to do the scoring on my own uh, not really <laughs> um so again even if you have never played azul before this mod makes it so simple to even learn and understand this game. It's already a relatively uh, straightforward game anyway, but your player mats, again, will, will tell you how to handle the scoring. So here, uh, horizontal, vertical, and then uh, same color um, around. So anyway, that's going to do it for this version of Tabletop Simulator and Azul. Um, I, I can't just keep gushing over uh, the same thing over and over again. Uh, the components are, are pretty um, simple. You know, you got your tiles and you got your board. But, you know, again, they're, they're so well done, guys. Um, so if you haven't added Azul to your Tabletop Sim yet, this might be the go-to mod for you. But I do plan on doing another mod just to kind of give you guys a... Um, a, a different view on, on another one. So stay tuned for that one, um, you know, in, in the coming weeks. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about this one, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer them for you. If you've enjoyed the video or the content, uh, really appreciate the support. So feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, thanks so much for watching.